Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here I have various antennas which are good for FPV. This one is a crosshair antenna and this is a twin array of 5.8 GHz patches and this is a quadruple array of 5.8 GHz patches. They all have different characteristics so they will have different beam width and radiation pattern. In my last video I talked about the antenna array analyzer app here which is really good because it projects the 3D radiation pattern of the antenna. However, it's a simulated pattern and this is only useful for designing the antenna. To verify the antenna which you have made such as this one here, you need to be able to plot its gain pattern. So in this video, we are going to make the real world antenna beam plotter. Alright, here I have an OAPM unit from my previous project. Basically, I have hooked up a GPS and a DSM2 receiver to it, as well as a 900 MHz telemetry. And I have also soldered two wires here. The red goes to the voltage detection pin, and black is basically the ground. And everything gets powered by a 3S LiPo pack. And the same 3S LiPo pack will power this 5.8 GHz receiver. Basically, basically, what I'm going to do is to hook up the voltage cables to the RSI pin of the receiver. This way, instead of measuring the voltage of the battery, the APM is measuring the receive signal strength from this receiver. This is the cheapest receiver with RSI pin up that I can find. It costs about 18 USD. And here I have already hooked up the RSI to this pin over here. And the other one is the ground. This will allow it to output the receive signal strength to the APM. I have the antenna plotter unit set up here. It's powered on as you can see. And here I'm waiting for a 3D fix of the GPS. Once the GPS has gotten the 3D fix, I would then use this to measure the antenna radiation pattern of this patch antenna over here. As you can see here, there's a 20 dB attenuator and this reduces the 200 milliwatts to a mere 2 milliwatt of transmission power. This means that I do not have to travel very far or rather this unit doesn't have to travel very far to be able to plot the signal strength or the antenna pattern of the patch. I'm going to walk from here to there with this and hopefully we can plot the radiation pattern of this antenna. Right now the APM unit has not been armed. As you can see the blinking blue light over here. Now I'm going to arm it with my radio. It should turn solid blue. Okay, it's armed now, which means that it has started recording the logs. Let's plot the antenna pattern. Alright, I'm going to start walking directly in front of the patch antenna to plot the radiation pattern. Alright, I'm back at home now in front of my computer and here I have the APM connected wirelessly via the telemetry unit to the ground station telemetry receiver and it's transferring data wirelessly to my computer. On my computer I have opened up the mission planner software and as you can see here it's already connected to COM port 3 and now I'm going to download the log files from the APM by going to data flash logs over here and then I'm going to click on the download data flash and there we go there's this log the one and only one and I'm going to click on download all selected logs now that the logs are downloaded to my computer the next thing that we want to do is to navigate to where the logs are and they should be under documents. In documents, you should be able to see the mission panel folder. And in that folder, you should be able to see logs. 
and then you can navigate to the frame type here I'm choosing quad roto and in the subfolder here I should be able to see the file which the file name that matches the date and time of the log and that's the one so it's 11 April and it's taken at 633 this is the bean I'm interested in the text file this one so I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste it to the desktop I'm just going to call it data flash Well, the reason for calling the file dataflash.log is because I've written a program in Python that will look for this file name on the desktop. So here I am in the project folder. This is Python project slash antenna beam. And I have two builds. This is build one and this is the second build version two. I'm going to open the second build, which is the latest one. Here I've packaged the Python codes to become an executable. As you can see, I'm going to double click on antenna beam 2.exe and this program will directly read the text file and plot the radiation pattern of the antenna. Well, at first glance, this doesn't look like a typical radiation pattern of antenna that you see in data sheets. That's because my program basically plots the coordinates of the path that I have walked and at each point it measures the RSI from the receiver and based on the RSI strength it gives it a color code so this is a spectrum a mini legend so where the antenna is the cyan dot here is the antenna and Nearest to the antenna is dark green followed by light green followed by yellow, orange and red. So red being the weakest signal and dark green being the strongest signal. So yellow would be somewhere in between. And if I remember correctly, orange is the point where the video loses its color. And red would be the point where you can still fly but it's very grainy and you could see about 60% snow, black and white video. Beyond red is unflyable. So yeah, this is the legend, a mini color bar that I've just put there just for reference. And I've walked along this path to the center of the field and then I walk back to where the antenna is. So the antenna is blasting a signal towards the center of the field and here you can see that at the far end at 50 meters mark I, I could still get very good video signal. So remember green is still good signal. There's no yellow here some yellow spots here probably because I was blocking the signal received by the receiver when I walk this way part of my body is shielding the signal that's coming from the antenna and the program allows me to save as well so let me save it all right here's the file let me open it in paint Okay, and I can basically choose a color. I select blue. And if I follow all the green, I can see I'm trying to make up the antenna beam pattern. Yep, it's something like this. You get what I mean? Yeah, so this is the flyover zone which which will give you very good video. And once you hit the yellow, 
is getting very grainy color video but still grainy sorry grainy but still color video and then when once you hit the orange that's where you lose the color and finally i have drawn out the beam pattern of this antenna it looks something like this and is traveling from the antenna to the center of the field the arrow is perpendicular to my walking path if you look at the x-axis, the beam width of this antenna is about 45 meter, and that's because I have attenuated the transmission power from 200 milliwatts to under 2 milliwatts of power. That's nearly about 7 times reduction in power. And since to double distance, we need to increase the power by 4 times, at 200 milliwatts, the beam width should be about 160 meters. With this device, basically you could mount it on a quadcopter, plot waypoints for the quadcopter to travel in the zigzag formation, and then you could plot denser dots, which will give a better visual representation of the antenna beam pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up if you like this type of videos. Subscribe and I'll see you again.